Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant Mum video. Today I'm taking a look at the Coal Hill School uh, uh, two pack, which uh, from uh, which is exclusive to B and M here in the UK um, and retails for nineteen ninety nine, so about twenty pounds really. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that I got this one because I, although I do previously own a Ace figure. Um, I think she's one of the more rarer action figures, had it find action figures, likewise with the Imperial Dalek, and also uh, the ace figure that I have isn't actually in particularly great shape anyway, and also, um, yeah, I just, I, I love Remembrance of the Daleks, and I don't think I had Remembrance of the Daleks, Imperial Dalek before this, so yeah, um, what was I going to say, yeah, the Dalek, uh, I think... I think the closest thing I had to an Imperial Dalek here that I have is this one, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, please do comment below if you're more of a, uh, for lack of a better term, like, diehard Dalek connoisseur, <laughs> um, if you will. Um, I think this one is the revelation of the Daleks, sort of, um, sort of Imperial one, where it's black sphere, I mean black uh, skirt as well as like plunger on the end and then obviously it's black on the eye stalk and whatnot. Um, yeah and then it's got the sort of circle there in the mid bit as well as well as just generally being a bit more sort of uh, of a mishmash of sort of the resurrection-y Daleks so yeah I'm not too keen on this one comparatively to this one honestly um, but yeah I, I just thought I'd do a little bit of a comparison to the two uh, because, yeah, this one is slightly different, the one in the Coal Hill School set. So even if you do have this one, you might think to yourself, oh, I might not get this one, but actually it's probably worth getting this one because this one's more screen accurate. It's got the golden plunger, and the plunger has been, like, slightly tweaked with, like, little bits missing out of it, which is actually more accurate. The gold is really nicely done and painted on this one as well, as the ears being different. Uh, which I don't know if they did that on the original release, as well as the store, I, I, iris being black and then gold, uh, as opposed to the other one, which was, I think, uh, blue, uh, a baby blue and then gold, uh, which was not accurate. And then the middle bit as well has this sort of thing there, uh, that sort of shape, whatever that is, um, which I think, again, is more accurate, as well as having a complete white base uh, and that. Um, although on my one, for whatever reason, there is just like this big line down the middle, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall it has the same sort of articulation as any other Dalek would, which is, you know, move in the arm, uh, slash, or the, not the arm, uh, the manipulator plunger thing, uh, the extermination gun can go up and down and whatnot. It's on three wheels, so you can, you know, have it trundling about the place. And, uh, yeah, the eye stalk moves up and down and the head spins full 360 degrees and whatnot so yeah um yeah this one's sort of more of a that one's more like a, a whitey white which is weird to say whereas this one feels like a bit more beigey white which is weird and then also you've got the sort of gold uh slats there whereas this one's got the gold mesh and then the sort of bolts there and whatnot so and as i say i kind of prefer this design over this one myself uh but i guess it depends on which one you grew up with really uh and whatnot and uh which episodes you prefer and as i say whatnot uh but yeah uh that's the dalek you can never really have too many daleks so yeah uh brilliant uh thing to add to the collection in my opinion um and then moving on to ace you've got ace by uh, played by sophie aldridge uh, I adore the level of detailing on the uh, the jacket I always have with the amount of detailing on the sort of pins and badges and whatnot because she was quite infamous for having this jacket and that and it's uh, yeah it's a really nice really nicely detailed jacket with lots of different pin badges uh, here there and everywhere I just wish my camera was a bit of high quality and also could focus a bit more um, to show you some of these lovely badges. Um, but on the back you've got Ace, uh, which is sort of in, in, uh, embossed as well, I guess. Um, meaning like the, the A is kind of risen up from the jacket, as well as like a little uh, po ponytail and or like uh, uh, thing on the back or like 
uh, sort of a scrunchie, I guess. I don't know. But comparing it to my other Ace figure, she has really long ponytail, and that's about it. And then also, generally, the the sort of arm, arms and skin is a, a bit bit darker and looks like she's kind of been tanning and uh, yeah this one has a different design on the, the sort of shirt which I think might actually be more accurate to um, Remembrance of the Daleks as well as having her uh, a sort of arms of the jacket rolled up as well as having a red sort of thing on a uh, tights sort of stripey thing on the tights whereas this one has uh, no stripy things on the tights, which honestly I kind of prefer. Glossy boots, which this one kind of has glossy boots, but not as glossy, which I prefer that. I don't like the bit on the tights, but I prefer the tights there on this figure. Um, and then, yeah, the uh, the sort of thing on the, the inside, the shirt, is just sort of a musical note and... Uh, uh, trumpet and that which I can't remember if that's more accurate or if it's silver nemesis that she wears that shirt But yeah, I um I'm not sure if there's any die-hard Ace fans, please do feel free to tell me uh, in the comment section below. She also comes with the infamous uh, rocket launcher slash RPG uh, To blow up the Dalek with which is you know really nicely detailed or, or, or pretty nicely detailed for what it is, you know you can you can pretty clearly tell what it is. Um, I found it personally quite tricky for her to hold it, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but then other reviewers that I've seen, or one other reviewer I've seen review this figure, uh, didn't have as much of an issue. So it, I think it is uh, varies from action figure to action figure. Um, what else? Oh, um, the figures uh, in these two B new B and M sets, the which is familiar one and this one. Both the humanoid figures, so the Capaldi Doctor, Twelfth Doctor and Ace, they do have like little um, sort of uh, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> things uh, around the legs uh, to, to hold them in in the packaging. I only mentioned that because I did not notice that on the Ace figure or the Capaldi figure. Oh, it might have been the Capaldi figure. I can't remember which one, but basically they're in a see-through thing, even though the rest of the things aren't see-through and are like string. So yeah. Great job on that. That was kind of annoying and a bit silly. But yeah, this one, I like the eyes and I also like the fact that she doesn't look as, look as tan as this one either, you know. Um, and I don't think this one, does this one have earrings? Yeah, she has little blue earrings or a blue earring uh, on, on my one for, for the Cole Hill set. But I'm not sure if that's, again, accurate to Remembrance of the Daleks or if it's more of a Silver Nemesis thing. Or if this one would be more accurate, but again the eyes on this one are a bit droopy Is probably the best way I can describe it and as I say the hands uh, She has a watch on this one, which is interesting whereas I don't think she has a watch on this one But then again the arms are covered by her uh, a Jacket this time and um, she does come with the the backpack which I just took off before obviously doing this review and it's just a backpack really and it's pretty easy to take off and hopefully uh, fingers crossed, it'll be easy to put back on. So yeah, I think this is a, a really good set, really nice little um, uh, set um, for anyone who's a big fan of Remembrance of the Daleks, trying to build up Daleks, or if you're a big Ace fan, or uh, you know someone who's a big Doctor Who fan, or older Doctor Who fan, or fan of the sort of 1980s Doctor Who, and or Sylvester McCoy in particular, and grew up with that era. Um, and you're f trying to figure out something for them for Christmas, this would be a great set, I think, you know, um, 20 quid, you know, sort of set. Uh, you know, I think it's a, it would be a great set. Uh, Articulation-wise, on the Ace figure, I think she does, like, maybe left to right on the head. It doesn't look like there's a lot of articulation, and then sort of the arms do go side to side, and then, you know, in at the shoulders, and or knee, uh, elbows, and sort of, 360 hands and what not and uh, the legs do go out to the sides but are obviously hindered by the skirt understandably and uh, yeah uh, Ace is pretty cool pretty Ace uh, set if I do so so myself and uh, yeah it would have been nice to include the baseball bat I suppose but yeah I don't think 
I have that in this set, or, or it doesn't come with that in this set, and I don't think I have it, so it would have been a nice inclusion, especially with the fact that the uh, backpack has the section where you could have put the uh, baseball bat in here, but yeah. Uh, as a, Okay, final verdict, I'd uh, give this set a well-earned 8 out of 10. I think this is personally the strongest set out of the two, uh, but it's nice that they've done sort of a, a one new series set, and a one classic series set that way if you're more into your classic who stuff then you can get this set if you're more into new who then there is a set for you because lately they have only really been doing uh classic who sets and so maybe if the witch's familiar set flies off the shelves maybe they'll they'll look at that and see what they do next year uh see see if yeah more new series stuff's more financially viable or 12th doctor stuff or maybe just keep doing some of the classic stuff and occasionally doing some of the new, new series stuff. Who knows? But yeah, thanks for watching. Please do comment, rate and subscribe.